Hello guys, guess what? We're going to learn something lovely this time around. Hooray! We're going to be looking at your biomolecules. Oh yes, in our biomolecules, what are we going to be learning? We're going to start with the very first beginning, that's the basic things. And then we're going to learn the definition and the types of your biomolecules. So how do we define biomolecules if we are to define biomolecules? It's simple. From the name biomolecules, bio and molecules. The bio there means biological. So biomolecules are also known as your biological molecules. Or for short, you can just call them macromolecules. Are you getting me? So there is nothing micro or small about them. They are large, large. That's why we call them your, what? your macromolecules or your biological molecules. Okay, now, if you understand that, let's go deep into this now. You must understand this with me very quickly that your biomolecules are organic compounds. In other words, they don't have inorganic origin. Mm -mm. Everything about them is organic and they play essential roles in three things. Number one is the structure. Number two is functions and number three is regulation of living organisms. So their functions and their roles are on number one structure number two is function and then number three the regulations of your living organisms now understand this with me that these molecules that we call biomolecules are primarily composed of four things and that four things of course you know that your organic compounds anytime you hear organic chemistry you remember three things and what are the three things cho cho but these guys are not just cho no they are telling you remember chon c-h-o-n your carbon your hydrogen your oxygen and what nitrogen these are the four major things and sometimes elements such as your sulfur may come and present itself and then your phosphorus are you getting it now chon sp sp chon so your carbon your hydrogen your oxygen your nitrogen your sulfur and your phosphorus so these elements are the main things that make up your biomolecules but behind that you must understand this very quickly that these biomolecules, they are called the building block of life. You know, what's the building block of the human body? Of course, it's called cell, right? What is the building block of life in general? They are called your biomolecules. And they are essential for the proper functioning of living organisms. In other words, if you must, if your body must carry out its normal daily routines effectively well, biomolecules are needed. Oh yes. In fact, you cannot play with biomolecules. No biomolecules, no life. In fact, for you to throw your hand anyhow, of course, you need your words, your biomolecules. They are very, very that important. Understand that these biomolecules, they have the ability to interact and cooperate with cells of the body to carry out numerous biological processes. In other words, the cells of the body cannot just carry out their function. They need the cooperation of biomolecules. So the two of them must work hand to hand to carry out their normal daily routine. In doing this, what happens? They allow for life to thrive and also allow for the existence of life in general. So biomolecules are very, very important in the body. So quickly, what are the types of biomolecules? Of course, you can see here quickly that I've given you four types of biomolecules. Oh yeah. So what are they? Of course, you can see your lipids, they are biomolecules. Hooray. Also, your nucleic acids, they are biomolecules. Your carbohydrates, they are biomolecules. And then your prothase, they are biomolecules. So in general, we can say there are four primordial or basic type of biomolecules you should know. What are the four? Let me take them accordingly. I'm going to look at them. Number one is called your carbohydrate biomolecules. Number two, your lipids are biomolecules. Number three, of course, your proteins are biomolecules. And then number four, your nucleic acids are biomolecules. So everything about this cause, there are just four major things there. Your carbohydrates, your lipids, your proteins, your nucleic acid. These are the four main things you have to note. And these are the four major biomolecules you should know. Are you with me? Don't forget. Now, aside these biomolecules, I want you to understand this with me, that there are others that we pay attention to. So in addition to this main biomolecule category, there are other essential biomolecules now they are called essential eg a good example is your vitamins your vitamins and essential biomolecules and your coenzymes they play vital roles in various metabolic processes and cellular functions but we don't group them among the four main or major categories of your biomolecules are you getting me now now that you understand this that there are other essential biomolecules like your vitamins and your coenzymes it's now high time that we start the journey as we proceed into the main biomolecules, which are the four of them, the carbohydrates, the lipids, the proteins, and the nucleic acid. In our next class, guess what? I'm going to be showing you your carbohydrates in details as a biomolecules. Enjoy, guys. See you quickly. Hello, guys. The class you just finished watching was brought to you by the LearnLift app. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe to the channel 
and turn on the notification bells so that when beautiful and educative videos drop, you would get notified.